Erich Marchand. We've seen Marchand before. He was born July 7th, 1914. He passed away August 29th, 1999. Marchand would later become a USCF life master. Dr. Marchand was a professor emeritus of mathematics at the University of Rochester, and he was a pioneer in gradient index research. He was also involved in helping to develop the Chess Federation's rating system, and he was also a columnist for Chess Life magazine for quite a few years. He was the champion of Missouri before he went to Rochester, and then he became New York State champion several times. I don't know if he yet held the PhD, so I did not put doctor in front of his name. Knight f6 and Anglo-Indian defense. Knight f3 is the king's knight variation. G6 is the Anglo-King's Indian defense. Pawn b3, bishop g7, bishop b2, castles. Pawn g3, pawn d6, bishop g2. Now pawn e5. Marchand with d4. The more common move is to castle, and that line goes as follows. After castles, knight to c6, knight to c3, rook e8, pawn d3, h6, knight d2, and bishop e6 is the most common line. Let's go back. Marchand with pawn to d4. Pawn e4, king's knight to d2, rook e8. Now e3 is indicated that's going to be answered by pawn takes pawn, and then you rook e8, I suppose. Um, it gives me a question mark on that move. Why would that be a question mark? Oh, it changed it to a thumbs up. Anyway, rook e8 was played by Bobby Fischer, and so Marchand played e3. Knight c3 being the more principled move. Get those peaches out of their beds. Pawn c6. c5 might be interesting here. Let's see what it gives me for this. Hmm. It gives me an inaccuracy, and then it changes it to a mistake. All right, it might be interesting, but it's wrong. Pawn c6 is the best move. Bobby found it, of course. Knight c3. Bishop helps to defend the E-man on f5. Pawn h3. Pawn h5 prevents pawn to g4 from happening. Queen c2. Now d5 and c5. The bot calling for b4. A3 should also be playable. I do want to see what the bot thinks about pawn A3. All right, C5, knight A6 with two options here. Of course, knight B4 is strongly winning, but if he thwarts you, you can reposition through the C7 line. And indeed, A3 is meant to prevent knight b4, and indeed, Bobby goes for knight c7 instead. All right, here knight e2 was played, and knight e6. Now he returns his queen to d1. You can castle here, even though you don't need to because of these interlocked pawns. Castling now would be a good time. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> Queen d1 gets the star. I've been not doing too well tonight on my alternate moves. <laughs> b6 here. Marchand with b4. And now a5. a5 gets a check mark. I'm afraid to say that queen d7 is my preference. Let's see what we get. <laughs> I get a star. And I would... Go with bishop c3 and then rook to b8. Star and king's rook to b8. Wanting to open the b file and I get a star. 
Okay. Yay! I got some stars. Well, a5 by Bobby Fischer, bishop c3, b takes c5, and b takes c5. We've got an open b file now. We've got some pressure on the a man, which is quite adequately defended at the moment. A totally ziplocked center. Bobby with knight c7, no doubt intending knight b5. Rook b1 takes ownership of that open file, and sure enough, knight b5 puts the question to both of these guys here. Marchand plays queen c1, queen d7, forming a battery here. Black should perhaps play h4 here. Uh, what did the bot say? The bot said a4. What about h4? I get a check mark. Knight b3. Surely a4 would be the better move here. Queen c7, bishop d2. Now pawn a4 is played. And that gets an x glam. Knight a1 is a terrible place for a knight. Now h4. Of course, that threatens to capture the g man, basically keeping white busy. g4 hits the bishop, and bishop d7. Bishop b4. Huh. The bot saying sack the exchange here. You could, in my mind, get this knight out of the corner. Let's see what I get. I do get a star for that idea. But bishop to b4 was played. Knight h7. Now knight c2. Knight g5. Queen d1. Really complicated game with so much congestion. Bishop c8. King d2. Here, knight f4 is a move, I would think. There's an open square. I get a star there. All right, I'm improving. So king d2, bishop a6. Trying to make this bad bishop a good bishop. You got a few places to go here into enemy territory. King c1, knight e6. Bishop f1 taking his share of that f1 a6 diagonal. Rook f8, queen e1, pawn f5, pawn takes pawn, and rook takes pawn. Knight c3, knight takes knight, bishop takes knight. Another really accurate game, not much to comment about. Bishop takes the bishop, rook takes the bishop, rook a f8, doubling the rooks, rook b6. Knight g5. Yeah, I do. I was actually thinking rook f3 would be a good move. Locks this back in place. Queen e2 is inaccurate. Knight b4 is the move. Super attack this c man and give black something to think about. And I don't really see a good way to defend this unless you want to play rook f6. Well, you could drop back the other rook as well, but. I guess that would work. You could just counterattack as well and just give up the pawn, but that's a hard move to make in my mind. Anyway, queen e2, knight takes the h man, bishop e1, queen to h2, adding some attackers. Ooh, the bot saying, no, you can go ahead and take that right away. Yeah, take it right away. And now knight f3 would be a winning move. It would compel king d2. If bishop takes, then we're going to play h3. And if rook takes, we're going to trade rooks. And after bishop takes, then we're going to pin the bishop to the queen with a super attack. So king d2 would have to be played. And then I can bring my queen on over to get a triple battery aiming up here. That does surrender this pawn, but now I'm pushing this pawn. And white is in a lot of trouble. Let's go back. Queen h2, though, right away by Bobby, was not the optimal approach. Rook takes, and knight b4 again being called for, and now knight takes. So black's winning this in either case. King b1, queen g2. 
Now knight b4 was played, and rook d6 was called for. Well, you play rook d6, I'm pushing my passed pawn for sure. You can push yours. I'll still push mine. You can push yours. And what should I do? Just attack this pawn. Ooh, I get an exclam here. And I'm about to promote. And you're going to have to give up your rook for my pawn. Whatever you do, my next move is promote. And then after takes, takes with the queen. Okay. Knight b4 by Marchand. It's just a matter of time. h3 is played here. Knight takes the d-man. Rook takes the knight. Queen c4, pinning the rook to the king. King h7 says, you are more than welcome to my rook. Bishop takes the knight. Now, if you take the rook right here, then knight d3. I am threatening checkmate on the next turn. So I don't know how you're going to stop that. I guess queen a2, right? But now I'm going to take here and get checkmated up here instead. <laughs> if queen takes queen, we play the Zwischenzug. Rook takes bishop. And after the king comes to c2, only then do we take the queen. Oh, well, it says you should go ahead and give him check one more time but i don't see any way to stop checkmate now i mean he's got nothing i'm gonna promote on the next turn and then i'm going to get you right here checkmate i need the queen there to cut off the d2 square so whatever he does i promote and then whatever he does after that i take the e man and then whatever he does after that I checkmate him. Okay, so let's say he come, says, I'm going to stop you. Well, the, he's not really going to stop me, is he? Because now you can't stop me. <laughs> if you had one more move, you could have put the question there. But I'm winning anyway. You're too slow to make a queen. So whatever you do, checkmate's coming. I can come here, actually. It's even more faster. -er. Much more faster. -er. Oh, you know what? I'll play rook. Okay, the only thing that stops rook c1 is giving away your rook. But now you're doomed anyway, because whatever he moves, queen c1 is checkmate. Go back. Anyway, bishop takes f2 was played, and then rook takes f2. Rook c1, pawn h2. The bot calling for rook takes rook, obviously... That doesn't change anything. Rook c1. Pawn h2. Rook takes the g man. King takes the rook. Now pawn c6. And the queen is made for black. Pawn c7. And there's just too late because we have check. And white resigned with mate to follow. After the king comes here. We give check, and if he plays king b1, queen b2 is mate. Or if he takes the rook with his queen, I take here with check, and then I have this nice little checkmate. Boom. That's a pretty checkmate.